Folks, when I say we have a real fox in the studio, how can we uh, introduce this beautiful baby? Or babe. <laughs> She's just so cute. You might remember us doing a blog post about Piper the Fox over at Button with Park Zoo. And now she's lucky to be in studio with us. And we're actually the lucky ones because yeah. she's adorable. Oh, my God. I know she's a wild animal, but that doesn't prevent me from wanting to just, like, just pet her oh, and just squeeze she's her. She's just so cute. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Joining us to uh, tell us all about Piper, how she's doing, and, of course... A great fundraiser that's going to help Piper out a lot in all the angles. Please welcome somebody that I have close to my heart, Jean Marie Doyle, the uh, events and volunteer coordinator. Nice to see you again. Good morning. Nice to see you as always. Thank you. It is such a pleasure to meet Piper. Oh, she is a doll. She is a pleasure. Uh, also joining us is uh, Hannah Hamilton, who is the uh, uh, educational specialist, right? She's the education conservation specialist at the at the zoo. Hello there. She's on the floor with Piper. Can you uh, just say a quick hello to us from over there? Hi everyone. Hello. Uh, hi everyone. <laughs> and uh, you have Piper over there. Yes, we have Piper the fox over here. Yeah, she's off mic. So uh, and and because she is actually inside a cage that they just put up in the studio folks so you can imagine this in your third eye there is a cage with piper and hannah on the floor piper seems to be enjoying the morning show because uh she was a is he or she piper is a girl okay she was a little bit um uh, nervous coming in but now she's just settled down hi piper yes she she yawned, the cutest little yawn just now. <laughs> she yawned only the way I thought. Tell us about this gorgeous, oh my god. She's sleek, she's gorgeous, long tail, tan color, just the perfect uh, lack of uh, details on its paws and ears. Tell us a little bit about uh, Piper. How did Piper come uh, around here? So Piper is a rescue animal. She was actually rescued from a Kushnet. Um, there was an unfortunate accident when she was just a kid. Um, her mom was unfortunately killed in an accident. And Piper was then rescued by a very nice woman in a Kushnet who was trying to care for her. And then realized that it was a little bit out of her realm. So she gave the call over to the zoo. And that is how we got Piper. So she's one of our rescue animals. How awesome is that? And uh, Hannah Hamilton, uh, we, we can hear you from there. Give us an indication of, is Piper easy to care for? She is. She um, is. She's still new to everything, so yeah. she's still learning, but so she's, she's doing learning. pretty well. What's the biggest challenge for Piper right now? Um, definitely being blind. I think that's being pretty blind. hard for her, but she seems to really compensate very well with her other senses. That she's is. got an excellent um, sense of hearing as well as a sense of smell. Awesome. We're going to have a very special event, and I'm so glad that you brought Piper in here. Piper is looking out the window now. Even though she's blind, she feels the warmth of the window. That's kind of neat, huh? Tell us a little bit about what you're doing fundraising this week. So Piper, like I said, is uh, one of our animal ambassadors. So um, our animal, animal ambassador program is supported by the fundraising that we do at the zoo. Yeah. So this week is one of our biggest fundraisers. It's our Feast in the Wild. Sure. So we do have 25 local restaurants coming to the zoo, and they're going to be serving up sample sizes of some of their best dishes. We're very excited. We're also, we also have an awesome silent auction. We're going to have um, performances by the Mud Daubers and Gary James Farias um, throughout the night. And um, it's just going to be a beautiful evening. The weather looks perfect for tomorrow. So I hope that everyone can make it to the zoo. You can buy tickets online. You can purchase them at the door. We just think it's going to be a beautiful night for such an amazing event for an incredible cause, really a priceless cause. Yes. And the money's raised. Where do they go? How are they used? So the money that's raised at this event goes to the Buttonwood Park Zoological Society, and we support the educational program, the animal ambassador program, and basically enriching the zoo and the programs that the zoo offers. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, it's not too late to get tickets, right? It's not too late. Yeah. Um, where can folks get the tickets? 
Tickets can be purchased at www.bpzoo.org under Things to Do under Feast in the Wild. Yeah. And they can also be purchased at the door or in our gift shop at the zoo. Very, very good. And uh, I wish, well, we have video being shot right now. Piper is very curious. Um, this is such a beautiful animal. Piper is going to be going around to uh, the schools once the school uh, opens. And Hannah, I know that uh, being a curator, you you are very much involved in things like that. Well, I'm one of the educators, um, so I teach some of the school programming. Yeah. Um, the help out with the zoo crew summer camp that comes in. Yeah. Um, take out our animal ambassadors to meet the kids. So, yep, yeah, she'll come out for events like that. Now, you have to understand, folks, that Hannah is off microphone because she is actually inside the cage with this beautiful baby fox. How old is Piper about? Piper is um, about five to five and a half months old now. Yeah. So she's still she's still a baby, but she's growing. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, she's going to, now when she goes around to the schools, will kids be able to pet her or see a wild animal where look from a distance? Yeah, kids won't be able to touch her, um, but as you all are doing right now, they'll be able to observe her, um, learn more about foxes, kind of how they move, yeah. and as well as some of the other things they do. But I'm sure it's going to be the first time for many children to see a fox up close. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Piper was the first time I saw a fox in the wild. See that? Uh, our special guests, Hannah Hamilton and Jean Marie Doyle, are telling us all about Piper, Beast in the Wild. This is why you ought to go, folks, because it's things like this that will educate our children, edifies our children, and it's very, very important to uh, support. How many animals are at the zoo right now? About figure. Over 50? Over 50 over for sure. 50. I don't know an exact number, yeah. but it's definitely over 50. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of ducks and then a lot of other animals too. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that, uh, do you have an exchange program of sorts with local farms or, you know, with the cows? Do you know? Because somebody was saying, well, are those cows the zoos or do they belong to a local farm? The cows belong to the zoo. Oh, there you go. All righty. Uh, anything that I didn't ask that you would like to get across, Dean Marie? Anything, Hannah? Is there anything that you'd like uh, our audience to know? Uh, we also have, for the kids on Friday, we have a zoo night coming up, um, the Friday after Feast in the Wild, so this Friday, August 14th. Yeah. So um, the parents can come to Feast in the Wild because it is a 21 plus event, and then Friday night, um, we invite the kids to come to our outdoor adventure zoo night, and um, that zoo night is going to have um, different types of outdoor adventure activities. We also have LL Bean coming. They're coming with their outdoor discovery school, so it's going to be a really good time. So we that? hope to see everyone at the zoo this week for our, our different events. That sounds great. An outdoor discovery school. Yes, that they're sounds... going to be teaching um, camping skills. Nice. Oh, that's great. Folks, in the meanwhile, we want you to support this worthwhile yearly event. It's a signature event. Save the date. It's coming up this week. Feast in the wild. Uh, and you will. You'll feast on some of the greatest signature dishes of local restaurants. And lots of good times. Wonderful people. And uh, Piper's going to be there as well, right? Piper will be at the zoo, yes. Maybe sleeping, but... <laughs> right, maybe sleeping. She may be out, but she may be sleeping. Yeah. Well, to both of you, thank you. We support you. You come by any time. Last time we had the lizard. Today it's the fox. Yes, we're happy to come by any time, Phil. Oh, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you both. And uh, maybe the bears someday can make a visit. <laughs> I would like that. I would like that too, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Jean Marie Doyle, who is the event and volunteer coordinator, along with Hannah Hamilton the Education Conservation Specialist, and our very special guest, Piper. Gorgeous Piper. What a fox Piper is. Right, Casey? She's That's so pretty. She is. And you can see what Piper looks like on WBSM.com. Dan McCready is videoing it right now. Thank you, everyone, and hopefully you will be one of the supporters of this fabulous Zoo, Buckwood Park Zoo. Jean Marie, thank you. 
Thank you, Phil. All righty, Hannah, thank you. Thank you. All righty, we'll be right back.